Hi guys, this is John with Music Greatness. Today we're looking at One in a Million by Rex Orange County. It starts off with a broken down version of the chorus which sounds like this. Alright, so what you just heard there was the beginning of the song, which is a broken down version of the chorus, which we see later on in the song as well. So first of all, let's take a look at the chords you're going to see in this section. First up is a C sharp minor 7. So that's C sharp for the left hand. Then the right hand has G sharp, B and E. For the next chord, your right hand will stay exactly the same and the left hand just plays an F sharp. F sharp for the left hand. G sharp, B and E for the right hand. Next up we have a B major 7, so that's B for the left hand and F sharp, A sharp and D sharp for the right hand. And the fourth chord is an E major 7. So now that's E for the left hand and G sharp, B and D sharp for the right hand. The next chord is an A sharp half diminished or minor 7 flat 5. So that is A sharp for the left hand, G sharp, C sharp and E for the right hand. Now the next chord is the only one that's a triad, meaning it's root, third and fifth with no seventh. So this is D sharp for the left hand, G. A sharp and D sharp for the right hand. And then the final chord is a G sharp minor 7. So that's G sharp for the left hand and then the right hand has F sharp, B and D sharp. So the way these chords will be played throughout this whole section and indeed most of the rest of the song is by doing the upper part in the right hand four times on every quarter note of the bar. I'm going to simplify the left hand just for the moment and we'll get to that later. So the first whole bar will be one, two, three, four for the right hand. And then the next bar will be exactly the same for the right hand. One, two, three, except for the very end where we get rid of this E at the top and just play a G sharp and a B for the right hand. So from the beginning, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The next chord we learned was a B major seven. So that will be played in exactly the same way. One, two, three, four, followed by our E major seven. Again, same rhythm. One, two, three, four. The next chord, again, the same. A sharp half diminished or A sharp minor 7 flat 5 will be like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the next bar, which is the D sharp major chord, this is the only one that has a different rhythm. What you'll do is play the D sharp with the left hand and then the right hand will play a G on its own on beat 2. And then on beat 3 and 4, you will finally play the full chord and it'll look like this. 1, 2, 3, four and then the final two bars will just be g sharp minus seven played on every quarter note one two three four and again one two three four now let's take a look at the left hand first of all we're going to start off in the first bar with a c sharp and then on the end of beat two we'll go up to another c sharp an octave higher and we'll finish the bar on the AND of beat 4 with an F sharp, which leads us into the next bar. So that will be with the right hand. 1, 2, AND, 3, 4, AND. Now we're on to the second bar. 
As I said, the right hand stays exactly the same. The left hand holds that F sharp from the previous bar. So, and one, two, and then on the and of beat two, we jump up to another F sharp here. And three, four. So the first two bars all together sound like this. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. For the next three bars, the left hand will have an even simpler rhythm. It will be one, two, and three, four. So for the B major bar, that's B, two, and three, four. And then the E major bar, that will be E, two, and three, four. And then the A sharp half diminished bar, one, two, and three, four. So with the chords, one, two and three four one two and three four one two and three four and now we're on the d sharp bar so for the d sharp bar we will go one two and three four but then we've got on the end of beat four a g sharp which then goes straight down to another g sharp an octave below for the next bar so one two and three four and one if you remember the right hand has a g on beat two so together this will look like this one two and three four and one one more time one two and three four and now we're in the final two bars. Now for the final two bars, your left hand will just be playing G sharps in different octaves. So here's the rhythm. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. So how that works with the right hand. One, two, and three, four and one two and three four so on the end of beat two you jump down to the lowest g sharp on the keyboard okay now let's say the whole thing all together at full speed So that's it for the first part of this tutorial. If you'd like to check out the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.